Uh, where do I begin? Hey, what's up guys? Quentin with Long Care Ninja. Gonna be taking this mess and uh, moving everything over and trying to get that 48 inch mower out. The goal is to take this to uh, a place where I can get it sold. Then hopefully it'll just uh, open up more room over here for uh, my equipment. So, um, but yeah, that's going to be what I'm doing today on Friday. Equip Expo is next week. Excited to be going to that. Uh, and I also wanted to let you guys know that uh, we're going to have a special guest on the Lawn Care Accelerator podcast. Uh, it's going to be none other than Brian Fullerton with Brian's Lawn Maintenance. Ended up reaching out to him, asking him if he would uh, be willing to come on and, you know, just chat for 20, 30 minutes. And I know he's busy, so uh, he said yes, and I really appreciate that. We're going to interview him. If you have any questions for him, leave them down in the comments below uh, so I can, you know, write them down and hopefully ask them to him. One thing I want to show you guys. Ended up picking up this laptop. My plan is to, you know, obviously bring this with me, uh, but, you know, be able to edit videos while I'm there at Equip Expo and, uh, you know, get this content out to you guys, uh, hopefully, you know, same day or next day. Uh, and especially with the uh, episode with Brian, you know, that's going to be a high priority is, you know, getting that one edited, sound good and all that stuff. And, you know, hopefully get it up on the YouTube channel, but also, uh, you know, just interviewing, you know, people there, uh, products, new products, um, you know, all that, all that good stuff. Hopefully have a few more people on the Lawn Care Accelerator uh, podcast series. I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be a great time. So if you guys are headed to Equip Expo, uh, shoot me a DM on Instagram. Uh, you know, hopefully, you know, maybe we could meet up and, uh, you know, just meet each other, uh, maybe have some dinner together and, you know, just hang out and, you know, maybe get you featured on the uh, Lawn Care Accelerator podcast I'm gonna go to work on that stuff now so um, also picking up a uh, echo a new echo 2620t uh, trimmer the uh, horizon distributors is running a uh, sale actually they ran it yesterday the 13th ended up calling them and seeing if they could uh, you know put a trimmer aside for me and I would swing by today and pay for it and pick it up and they said they would so once I drop this mower off, I'm gonna go pick up that trimmer and uh, now I'll have two trimmers. And you know, the goal is, um, you know, obviously next year, hopefully to, you know, maybe have another route going uh, and, you know, having two trimmers um, is gonna make that more feasible. Uh, also, they were having like a 15% off. I can't remember if I just mentioned that, but 15% uh, off sale was yesterday for like Echo stuff. Uh, so that's why I'm buying it now. Uh, hopefully they don't do like a 20-25% off sale for um, Equip Expo, oh, but we'll see. I uh, already have two backpack blowers uh, ready to rock fall cleanups when I get back. Next week actually is my last week of scheduled mowing, so Jordan's going to be taking over uh, for that for me. I will be mowing on Monday, but Tuesday through Thursday he's going to rock solo. I don't know if he's going to take the Star E that's behind me or if he's going to take that... Uh, uh, 60 inch turf tracer. He hasn't used a turf tracer, uh, but it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. Um, so we'll see what he, uh, he decides to do. I think the days might take him just a couple hours longer to do uh, than, you know, when he's with me. Uh, if he can, you know, take that Star E and use it in a lot of the backyards, uh, I think, you know, he could probably finish pretty quick. He's excited for it. Uh, you know, I'm going to be doing the P for P for him. Um, you know, so he's going to be making um, more money than, you know, if I was there. So works out for me because I can continue to make money while I'm out of town and he can make more money uh, mowing the lawns for me. So I'll probably pick the video up when I get some of this stuff moved and pull that uh, 48 inch out and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. So we'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so ended up getting everything out. Uh, there's this mower, uh, but real quick, this is the uh, Red Max 7500, EBZ 7500. I'm actually thinking of selling this one too. Uh, I just never use it since I have, uh, I still have uh, the 8010 and uh, two 9010. So I actually have three backpack blowers. Uh, but I'm thinking of, you know, selling that one too. 
I don't know, a couple hundred bucks, 150, 200 bucks or something. If you're in the South Denver area and you're interested in a backpack blower, uh, reach out to me on Instagram and maybe we can uh, do something with that. This is a 48 inch Encore. Now this is what I use for like the longest time working at the other company I used to work for, work for before I started Lawn Care Ninja. Um, this is a great little machine. Uh, obviously 48 inches, you're cutting a lot more than, you know, like a 32. Uh, especially on the big yards, this was huge on like big yards. Um, we had a lot of big yards and this was like a lifesaver. Belt driven, I don't know what this came from uh but it's it's been i i've only used it maybe like once so it's been sitting for quite a few years yeah there's a gear selector all right gonna try starting this up we'll see how many pulls it takes since it's been sitting so long Alright, well I wasn't starting this cause this thing came uh this thing came undone. We just we used to have it jerry rigged. Uh but also there's that stuff dripping. That can't be good. Hopefully it's nothing uh too major, but I bet that's where that came from. When I started it up to move it in its position. That's maybe where that stuff came from. That's got to go. All right, so yeah, I just dropped off my mower. Or first I picked up that uh, trimmer. It was like 368 or something, that trimmer. Uh, and then I dropped off the mower. Uh, as you can see in here, it's looking a lot better. I'm gonna be taking these off of my old trimmer and putting them on the new one. I'm gonna have to order Maybe a few, a couple more sets of these. Uh, this is the block down there too, uh, that fits in the, uh, trimmer rack that I have. So yeah, I'll probably order a couple more of these just so I can, um, you know, have, have this for, uh, both trimmers and any new equipment that I might get. That's going to be it for this video. Uh, this might be the last video before I head to Eclip Expo. Uh, you know, hopefully maybe do kind of like a vlog style type thing for Eclip Expo. I'm gonna, uh, stay with, uh, Jonathan with, uh, Whitetail Creek. Been friends with him on Instagram for, I think, ever since I started my business. I met up with him at, uh, Entrepreneur Academy, uh, a couple years ago, I think it was. And then last year at GIE, 
uh, we hung out and, you know, had, had some dinner and stuff. Uh, but we're going to be sharing a, a hotel room, save a little bit of money. Yeah, looking forward to that. He's going to be on the podcast too. going to ask him questions and, you know, find out about his business and, you know, where he's from and, and all that stuff. Keep an eye on the channel for uh, those videos. And yeah, that's going to do it for me. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and click that bell so you get notified when I upload uh, those videos for Equip Expo. And don't forget to hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Later.